Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. So, um, this news hit the Xbox fanboys pretty hard. I mean, I love my Xbox. I mean, every game that I buy, um, all my multi-platform games that I purchase are all going to be on my Xbox. The only thing that I use on my PlayStation is usually the exclusive that's where i get all my exclusive games you know like the spider-man's the last of us um you know sony first party games that's the reason why i have that system and then i also have the switch also because i like to play those nintendo games even though i have not touched my switch in over a few months so <clears throat> but anyways i have my reasons of playing those platforms each one has something to offer unfortunately for xbox the things that was lacking is exclusives and the fact that they purchased all these big companies like activision bethesda you know blizzard you know those are big publishers and we expect great things to come from xbox unfortunately this is this is business in my opinion i'm not going to get mad at microsoft for making this kind of move but you also have to think logically here if you are a business, right, and you're in the business of making money, to me, this makes sense. And here's why I'm going to explain it to you. So, let's say you have Game Pass, right? We have Indiana Jones. Obviously, Indiana Jones is going to go where? It's going to go to Game Pass. Sony people still have to pay $70 for it. And I bet you a dollar to a donut Indiana Jones is not going to be a day and date on the PlayStation 5. I promise you. It's not going to happen. It may come a year or two years down the road to PlayStation, but it's not going to come in day one. It's going to come day one on Game Pass itself. So therefore, you have an option here. You can have Game Pass and then just subscribe to it, pay for it, and then you have access to the game. And you can play it on your PC and you can play it on your Xbox. It doesn't matter what system you want to play it on. You can play it on those two things because Game Pass games are usually available on PC as well to day and date. You can play Halo on your PC and then boot up your Xbox and have the game continue from where you left off, right? So that's a huge thing for me with Microsoft. I can just continue my game right where I left off. I love that idea where, you know, pick it up anytime, anywhere. doesn't matter. Even on the cloud, you know, because Microsoft's whole strategy was to sell you Game Pass at the end of the day. They want you to play games on any kind of devices you have, whether you're playing it on your big screen TVs, um, whether you're playing it on your mobile devices, your laptop, your tablets. That's the whole thing that they've been trying to sell us is the Game Pass so you can play it anywhere that you want. They're not really in the um, they're not in the in the market, I guess. Of selling consoles anymore they're st starting to switch their their um what is it uh, what's that word they switched their strategy i guess um unfortunately the xbox fanboys are a little upset about this news the fact that indiana jones starfield as well as hi-fi rush is going to be on playstation to me it doesn't matter if you're a gamer you should want everybody to play those games regardless of what kind of consoles that they're playing because some of these games it makes sense to me for um, to be just putting it on other platform because before Activision was bought from Microsoft, this game was going to be multi-platform. It's going to be on the PlayStation 5. It's going to be on the Xbox. Same thing with Starfield as well as Hi-Fi Rush before Microsoft bought them. You know, Hi-Fi Rush would be an amazing game to play on the Nintendo Switch, to be honest with you. It just seems like that kind of game to play on the Switch. Now, a lot of you guys might be upset about this news. To me, as a gamer, I'm excited for it. And to be honest, I don't think Microsoft is going anywhere. They spent a lot of money, and in order for them to recoup some of those, some of that money, is is maybe <clears throat> is maybe going this route because people are going to play the game day one on on Xbox. You know what I mean? And then have the Sony people pay for the game seventy bucks, and you're making money there too. So to me, it's just Microsoft double dipping and maximizing their profit, in my opinion. But let's go to the um, to the IGN article, and then we're going to read it, and then I'll just have a closing argument. All right, so here's the article. 
and it's been going crazy on X. I just I just opened X a while ago and people were going nuts, losing their mind. I'm like, it's not that serious. Or maybe it is, you know, it doesn't matter. And they're talking about Microsoft going third party. That could be that that could be a thing. It's possible. But to be honest with you, Microsoft is such a huge company. So even if they're taking losses on Xbox, they can afford to take losses. But PlayStation has no room to take losses because <laughs> their business overall isn't as close to being big compared to Microsoft. Microsoft is a trillion dollar company, so they could keep they could keep pumping money into a losing platform if they choose to. And they can just cut bait and just be third party and making games for the PlayStation 5 and, and the Switch. And that puts the gamers, at least Xbox gamers, in a very peculiar position. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle and possible Starfield are reportedly being considered for PS5. But this is the word that you got you to gotta highlight here, considered. So it's not written in stones. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle and possibly Starfield are reportedly being considered for PlayStation 5. This may indicate a new multi-platform approach inside Microsoft for certain Xbox games going forward if it proves to be true. As reported by The Verge, a source with knowledge of Microsoft plans have claimed the company is weighing up which titles will remain exclusive and others that will appear on Switch or PlayStation 5 in the future. And that's something that Microsoft itself has highlighted, that they will consider what kind of games they want to make exclusively to Xbox and what kind of games they want to bring over to the to the other platform. That has been, they talked about that already that it's going to be case by case basis. Now, initially Starfields was going to be that killer app and even Sony themselves were trying to um pay um Activision a certain amount of money just to have the right to have that game exclusive to PlayStation and Microsoft was like, "Hell nah. Nah, bruh." coming in with their billion dollars and just purchasing the whole fucking company, the whole publisher with like a bunch of different development studios. Assuming this plan goes forward, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle appears to set to launch exclusively on Xbox and PC in December 2024 and would arrive on PS5 after a rather short period that could just be some months later. Once again, it's important to take all this. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, geez. Okay, I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. <laughs> yeah, I for some reason I hit the the search. <clears throat> anyway, um, once again, it's important to take this with a grain of salt. I think that's what it says here. With a grain of salt, change all the time. But the conversation looked to be happening inside Microsoft. This report also follows rumors that Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves may also be jumping to other platforms as well too. I mean, why not? Sea of Sea of Thieves has actually been very profitable for Microsoft. And to be honest with you, why wouldn't they want to explore other avenues to make even more money? They're in a the business of making money. They're not in the business of selling consoles. Software is where the money is. Consoles, most of the time, these big companies lose money on consoles when it comes to development as well as selling them at a loss. But the main thing that they make all their money on is software. And one of the things that um, PlayStation has down packed is the softwares sony has the fucking softwares right now sony is whooping microsoft's ass when it comes to sales of their consoles and, and exclusive in general but 2024 might be the comeback year for xbox with all the games that were shown during their little um in their xbox development i thought that was a really great showing for microsoft looking forward to the 2024 year it's going to be an exciting year for xbox fans in general and that's not all, however, as Xbox Era is reporting that Starfield might be another game to make its way to PlayStation 5. According to Xbox Era sources, Microsoft may be planning to launch Bethesda Space RPG on PS5 after the already announced Shattered Space expansion that is slated to arrive later in 2024. For, furthermore, it has been claimed Microsoft is making even more of an investment into PS5 development kits to support this supposed multi-platform strategy it may adopt and i'm all for it honestly i mean if you're a gamer you want people to play games at the end of the day it doesn't matter what kind of box you have at home it does not matter if you're a gamer you want to play 
the games you're excited about regardless of what platform that you're on i mean if you and but the whole reason everybody buys certain consoles is for the for the exclusives but if most games are going to come up to the play, playstation 5 why would i want to play it on the xbox but here's why you should play it on the xbox you want to know why because it's free if you have game pass these games are going to be there for you for free you don't have to pay any money for it you don't have to shell out 70 dollars for it all the people that have playstation 5 they're going to be shelling out the 70 dollars for these games but you don't have to do that you're getting it on game pass on day and date ahead of starfield's launch the question of its exclusively exclusivity was one of the biggest out there while it turned out starfield was exclusive at least at launch these potential new development will also surely bring back the elder scrolls 6 view while it hasn't been 100 percent confirmed microsoft's own internal documents have claimed it will skip ps5 only launch on xbox and pc once again plans will change all the time which is fucking true as hell they could always pivot but the fact that they're thinking about launching these games on playstation to me is just maximizing profit if you're in if you're in business you want to maximize as much profit as you want you know what i wouldn't be surprised if game pass comes to to fucking playstation 5 that'd be dope right <laughs> playing all your games on xbox on uh, playstation 5 that'd be weird maybe for the switch just use the cloud for more check out the xbox changing anyways so that's the article like it says just take it with a grain of salt because things do change often and it doesn't make it makes sense for microsoft to have playstation 5 development kits because i'm sure they want to make certain games you know also release on the playstation 5 as well too so they can maximize the amount of money that they make all right so i'm on twitter or x and people are uh, <laughs> i'm just going to wait for microsoft to announce all this stuff 100 percent mafia because it's just weird how all this information is just dropping out of nowhere it just seems weird it's a wrap for xbox it's over the xbox killer it's funny <laughs> Honestly, until Microsoft does announce this stuff, you know, like the article says, man, just take it with a grain of salt. It's not confirmed yet until Phil Spencer gets up on stage and say, hey, this is what's happening. Um, this is what's going on. Um, then I'll believe it. For sure, for sure. Until then, it's just rumors, speculations. Xbox fan, Microsoft should acquire Sega. Microsoft, what if we become Sega instead? Boom. <laughs> This is the way things should be. They'll make a lot more money this way. Hey, that's what I said. Once they see their success, mark my words, Halo will no longer be Xbox PC only game. Honestly, why not? Milk both fans. Make money. You know, who cares? Honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. All this stuff, honestly, I'm not like a hardcore Xbox fan. I grew up with Xbox, owning Xbox. And then I think I switched over and I purchased a PlayStation 4. Is my first owned console. I skipped the PS3 because I was fine with my Xbox 360. But I wanted to play some of those um, PlayStation exclusives. So I purchased the PlayStation 4 when it released. And then I got the PS5 as well to play some of these lovely exclusive. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's funny. But anyway, let me know your co your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, I appreciate y'all. Have a good one.